calls in areas. When a call is made but the money is not received, that amount is said to be calls in areas. For example, if we pass share call account due, we pass an entry saying share call account debit to share capital to make it due. Let us say the amount is 1 lakh. Let us also assume that one shareholder who is to pay 5000 rupees does not pay. What would be the entry then? The entry would be bank account debit. We receive 5000 less, so we receive only 95000. Bank account debit 95000 to share call. 95000. As a result of this, there is a balance in the share call account of 5000, which is nothing but a call in arrear. So, a debit balance in a call account, in the share allotment account, in the share first call account, in the share second call account, or the share third call account, represents call in arrear. We may leave it like this, or we may transfer the balance in the call account to calls in arrears. The entry in that case would be calls in arrear account debit, calls in arrear account debit to share call account, calls in arrear account debit to share call account, amount of 5000. With this, the share call account gets closed. So, calls in arrears. may be created, the account may be created. If it is not created, the debit balance in the share allotment or any call account would represent calls in areas. Calls in areas to share call account. How is this shown in the balance sheet? In the balance sheet, share capital account. Actually, we have called up capital. Less, we say calls in areas. Calls in area is a debit balance which is shown as a deduction from the liability side. So, called up capital so much, calls in area so much, the amount which is shown outside, this is actually the paid up capital. Dividend is usually paid on the paid up capital. For calls in arrears, interest may be charged, the maximum rate of interest being 5% per annum. <clears throat> if money is received later on, then the entry becomes bank account debit to calls in arrears. Therefore, what are calls in arrears? When a call is made but the money is not received that money which has not been received is said to be calls in areas the debit balance in any of the calls account would represent calls in areas alternatively we can pass an accounting entry transfer it from the call account to an account called calls in areas calls in area account debit to the respective call account this call in area is a debit balance and is shown as a deduction, as a deduction from the shared capital. Therefore, we get the actual paid up capital. Called up is the full amount which is being called up. Less calls in areas gives us paid up capital. The uh, interest may be charged from the shareholder. The maximum rate of interest as per the act is 5%. Let us consider this example. XYZ Limited issue 1 lakh shares of 10 each payable as 2 on application, 5 on allotment including premium and 4 on the first and final call. So that's 5 plus 2, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We are talking of a share being issued at a premium of rupee 1 per share. 
all the money was received except for a shareholder holding 1000 shares who did not pay up the call money pass journal entries so what would be the entries <clears throat> first we receive money on receipt of money what is the entry on receipt of money money comes in therefore bank account debit to share application How much is this? Issued 1 lakh shares of 10 each payable as rupees 2 on application. So 1 lakh into 2, we get 2 lakhs. 1 lakh shares into 2. On allotment of shares. On allotment of shares, what happens? The share application is capitalized so share application account debit to share capital share application account debit to share capital with how much same amount 1 lakh into 2, two lakhs On allotment of shares, allotment money also becomes due. Therefore, the entry would be share allotment account debit to share capital. How much is this? 5 per share. Five per share, but including premium. So the entry would be share allotment account debit to share capital to securities premium. How much is this? This is one lakh share into five is the total money due. Therefore, five lakh. How much is capitalized? One lakh into four. That's four lakh. And one lakh into one. One lakh is the securities premium. This is because this is the face value of rupees 10 each. The total amount which is being issued for is 2 plus 5 plus 4, which is equal to 11. Therefore, rupee 1 is the premium amount. So, on allotment of shares, we have two entry, capitalization of the application money and allotment money due. On receipt of allotment money, on receipt of allotment money, what would be the entry? Money comes in. So, bank account debit to share allotment. Entire money has been received. Therefore, entire 5 lakhs has been received. <coughs> Finally, call money is due. What is the call money? 4 per share. So, entry. Call money due. What is the entry? When the call is made, entry is share final call account debit to share capital. What is the amount here? We are talking of 4 per share into 1 lakh shares. Therefore, 4 lakhs. On receipt of money, bank account debit, we receive all the money except a shareholder holding 1,000 shares. So, 1,000 into 4, 4,000 is not received. Balance is received. So, what we receive is 4 lakh minus 4,000, 3 lakh 96,000. We can transfer this to calls in arrear. I'm combining the entry calls in arrear account debit 4,000 to share final call account 4 lakh with this the final call account gets closed and this calls in area would be shown in the balance sheet how would it be shown share capital if we notice comes to 
10 lakhs. 10 lakhs share capital is 2 lakh plus 4 lakh plus 4 lakh, 10 lakh. So in the balance sheet, we would show 10 lakhs less calls in areas 4,000, 9,96,000.